Adobe has just changed the game when it comes to audio, and this is super important for creators. Let me tell you why. Audio is 50% of our video. If you are caring so much about your video and giving little attention to your audio, people won't watch your videos because people will put up with okay video footage as long as your audio is crispy. That's why creators shouldn't go out and spend tons of money on a camera when a high definition camera is already in your pocket. You should invest your money first in your audio, but now, I'm thinking you may not have to invest any money at all. Cash money. Right now you are hearing a $1,000 shotgun microphone that I use in a ton of my videos. It's the Sennheiser MKH 416 P48. And as you can see, this microphone retails for about a thousand dollars brand new, but you could probably find it used for a couple of hundred bucks off elsewhere. So obviously this mic sounds great, that's why I love using it, but I'm not expecting you to go out and spend a thousand dollars to make your audio sound great. Well, obviously. We're gonna do it for free using the microphone that is already built into your computer. I'm gonna open up GarageBand on my Mac. Now replace GarageBand with anything, Reaper, Audacity, Logic Pro, any digital audio workstation, or DAW, anything that records your voice will work. I just happen to be using GarageBand because it's a free application that comes built into every Mac and I'm a Mac user. How's bragging camp going? Now, when I open up GarageBand, by default, since I don't have anything plugged into it, it's going to use the microphone already built into my Mac to record my voice. So let's go ahead and record some test audio and make this somehow sound amazing. This is a mic test. I cannot wait for this audio to be turned into crystal clear goodness for my podcast or for my video. Let's go ahead and hear that back because it's not gonna sound great. This is a mic test. I cannot wait for this audio to be turned into crystal clear goodness for my podcast or for my video. Help me. Now, as you can hear, the audio doesn't sound great. It actually sounds awful. There's a lot of ambient noise. It doesn't sound tight. It sounds like it was recorded in a cement room, which this is a cement room, but we're gonna make this sound great. Enter Adobe. For the longest time, people have used Adobe products, Illustrator, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere to create and edit content, but Adobe has now decided to specifically get into the podcast game. And that's why we find ourselves on podcast.adobe.com. Now, as you can see, this is still in beta and there are a ton of tools that they'd love to tell you about, but only two of them are available now. One of them is this AI powered audio enhancer. And when I click on try it out, I'm taken to the most simple website ever. And you can see a test of how this uh, AI audio enhancer works. But instead of showing you their example, we're going to use our own. So I click on upload or I can simply drag and drop files here. And I select my test audio for Adobe. I select open and it now enhances the speech. And the beautiful thing about this is it's going to show you what the audio sounded like before Adobe enhanced it and after Adobe enhanced it. Enhance. One debt to society later. Since this is a really small file, it took seconds to enhance the audio. Now I'm going to uncheck enhance speech for a second and I'm going to allow you to hear what this sounds like unenhanced. This is a mic test. I cannot wait for this audio to be turned into crystal clear goodness for my podcast or for my video. Unbelievably bad. Help me. But let's go ahead and switch on the enhance speech feature and see what Adobe came up with. Enhance. This is a mic test. I cannot wait for this audio to be turned into crystal clear goodness for my podcast or for my video. Now listen, literally. Is that audio perfect? Absolutely not. But it is so much better than the raw audio that I just spoke into GarageBand using my MacBook Pro microphone. Now listen, most of you will not record audio using a MacBook Pro microphone. You might use the shotgun that's on your camera. You might use a podcasting mic like the Samson Q9U. You might have a great microphone in front of you like the Sennheiser MKH416 
FP48. And all of these devices are going to capture better audio than your MacBook Pro microphone, thus creating an amazing sounding audio clip far beyond anything you could edit yourself. So if you're sitting there thinking, I don't know how to make my audio sound good and I have a somewhat decent mic, problem solved, Adobe's got you covered as long as you visit podcast.adobe.com and use their AI enhanced audio feature. This is a game changer for content creators and it's going to save you tons of time. But don't forget, if you really care about audio, don't leave before you watch this video.